I gotta be honest with you, I absolutely loved this movie, pretty much similarly to how much I like Die Hard and Die Hard with a Vengeance. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna do a little movie review on a movie called The Last Boy Scout, I think from 1991. Now, recently I got into the Die Hard films again, love Bruce Willis in this time period. The Last Boy Scout is probably one of his more recommended movies from this time period before he got into the more popular movies in the late 90s. I gotta be honest with you, I absolutely loved this movie, pretty much similarly to how much I like Die Hard and Die Hard with a Vengeance. It's so similar to a Die Hard type story. He plays such a similar character. Like in this movie, he's a private detective, but I don't know, for some reason, him being a private detective feels very similar to him being a cop. And he has trouble getting the cops on his side, which he always does in all the Die Hard movies. Takes him a long time to figure out what's going on. Let's jump into the pros that I have with this movie. And the number one pro I can say is it's just entertaining. Really the only other movies that I would say the number one quality is entertaining for me is like Die Hard and maybe Die Hard with a Vengeance. Something about this time period with Bruce Willis, it's just entertainment. It's just a little more entertaining to me than anything else at the time. Although I like all the other movies, something about Bruce Willis in this time period is great. And I think this comes out one year after Die Hard 2 and four years before Die Hard with a Vengeance. He's always kind of a little bit of a deadbeat, but he's a little bit more of a deadbeat in this movie than he is in Die Hard 2 and Die Hard the original. And I feel like they took this deadbeat style version of him and put him into Die Hard with a Vengeance because in Die Hard with a Vengeance, he's pretty much a drunk. He hasn't talked to his wife in a year. This movie almost feels like a transition between Die Hard 2 and Die Hard with a Vengeance for me. I think it's Marlon Wayans, he's in this movie. He's great, he plays like an ex-football player who is dating this girl at a strip club and Bruce Willis gets hired to protect the girl at the strip club. Very early on in the movie, she gets gunned down and so they're kind of like this awkward buddy buddies type combination. And it's funny because they're both alpha males. They both want to do things their own way, but they find a way to kind of work with each other. So I feel like it was the perfect length of time as well. Not too long, but not too short. There was lots of different types of characters here. So I um, liked pretty much all the acting and all the character choices. I felt like the ending was actually pretty good. It kind of pulls on your heartstrings a little bit and I don't really want to get into what it involves, but it has a very, very good ending here. I really do appreciate it. One of the last pros that I have with this movie that I absolutely love is finally we get a sassy wife and daughter for John McClane. John McClane is John McClane. He's out there, he cusses, he says what he wants, he does what he wants, he's John McClane. You look at his wife, you look at his daughter, especially in the early movies, they're just average, just an average person, just a kind of cookie cutter person, which is no problem at all, but we get almost no good interactions between them. There's no similarities. In this movie, he has a teenage daughter and a wife that both have tons of attitude. They're both very, very entertaining to watch. They fit the story perfectly. I just probably liked their interaction with Bruce Willis like a thousand times more than any family interaction that he's had in any of the Die Hard movies. Again, I like Die Hard more than this movie, but the family aspect, super entertaining, super spot on, and matches Bruce Willis's spunk perfectly. All right, guys, let's jump into the mixed qualities I have with this. And the mixed is football is one of the main things this story revolves around. It starts off with a football scene and a guy pretty much going crazy on the field. You have, I think, Marlon Wayans. I apologize if it's not him. I know it's the Wayans. He's an ex-football player. The bad guys at the end have something to do high up with football. So it really depends on if you like football, if you like this time period. For me, I got into football more in the late 90s, early 2000s, and now I don't really like the current state of professional sports. It's just really kind of not for me. So it's not that I didn't like the sports aspect. It definitely has its own flavor, but I feel like, you know, if you're somebody who loves football, loves the classics, this is gonna put you over the moon. And if you're somebody who just really finds it boring, this movie probably won't be for you. The other mixed quality I have is it's a lot more 
sleazy and intense than something like Die Hard is. Like, I'm pretty sure there's no strip clubs in Die Hard. You're in a strip club in this movie. There was a point early on where there's this ex-football player in the spa with a girl holding her head underwater and saying, if you don't perform the acts that I want you to perform on me right now, I'm just gonna leave you underwater and essentially drown her. Now he's probably joking, but I really don't think we would see that in today's television, even in R-rated movies. So that's pretty much the only two mixed aspects. If I were to go into the cons, I am legitimately struggling to find a con besides that it's dated. I don't really have a con. I mean, maybe the ending could have been a little bit more dramatic, but it is already super dramatic. It involves football, like I was saying. So really the only con I could think of is that it's dated. If I had to rate this movie, I would probably rate this movie like, I gotta rate it like an 8.5 to a nine. I rated my favorite Die Hard movies both at a nine, and this one is right up there with it. Buy Try or Pass, for me, buy. Buy all day. I love this movie, was so entertaining, especially if you like Die Hard, watch this movie so entertaining as you could tell i love this movie have you seen the last boy scout what are some of your favorite bruce willis movies i'd be very interested to see we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace